We're almost there. I can feel it. Indeed. And a long journey it's been. Onward. We got Caltrops! So, um, if you don't pick these up here, you'll still get them eventually later. But, uh, yeah, this is like a whole- this is the replacement for Shovel Knight's dream sequence. It's like a whole sequence we play. And, uh, I forgot we were doing this right now. Because, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. There we are. Because, uh, we're gonna get a lot of treasure from here. Although, come to think of it, the most treasure might be... Hmm. Well, we're gonna get some treasure from here anyway. Can I smash this? No. You cannot smash the ones in the dream sequence. Unfortunately. Oh, I, okay. Oh, yeah, just I went straight into that pit. And my treasure's down there, so uh, I'm never getting that back. Well, that really sucks. <laughs> What was I saying about being able to afford a third Curios? So much for that. Or a fourth one, even? Well, there go all my dreams. Right there. I guess I'll still be able to do three, just barely. Oh hey, this looks familiar, doesn't it? What do you say we stop off here for the night? <sighs> Donovan, as a father, I'm worried about him. Do you think the amulet will truly protect him from all harm? Your boy has much to learn about the world, certainly, but if this trinket is as powerful as they say... I... I can only hope the legends hold true. Don't worry. We won't be leaving empty-handed. Come now, let's rest. And tomorrow we will find out for ourselves. Uh, I can afford both of these even. Okay, well, we'll do this one first because it's prob- I know- actually, I know exactly when I'll use this one and it won't be for a while, so we may as well see it now. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. Yep, that's, uh, that's what it does. It- oh! Almost fell in the lava. It is a projectile. <laughs> Just throw a scythe straight at them. It's terrific. It's not even that it's bad, it's just... I know myself well enough to know that I'm not going to use it. Except for two or three places later on in the game. This one, on the other hand, is the sort that I would spam like crazy. And, uh, just to be clear here, I only remember where, like, three, two or three of the curious even are, so it is pure luck that I got this one now. Because, uh, yeah, this is the sort of one that I would use normally. It is the... Uh, what is it called? Um, the, uh... You see, if I had this, I would have been able to get some of my treasure back from before. Um, it is the Propeller Dagger of Spectre Knight. 
or actually, Plagnet had a few of these. Come to think of it, hmm. would it be more like the the Shuriken staff or the one that creates a platform? I guess in terms of what it lets, uh, it's a little bit like both. Yep. And I will. Okay, nothing in here. That's good. I was afraid for a second that I had missed the... the cauldron. But now that I think about it, I did not. I remember picking it up. So, uh, I immediately want to upgrade this thing because it makes me invincible while I'm floating, which is just really good. I also want... Oh, actually, that's also really good, because that means I can use it to recover gold. Which would have also let me get it from when the fish killed me. As for the third one, uh, increased attack range, or more healing. We'll go for the proactive one, because then I'm less likely to fall into, into the, my same old patterns. <laughs> I was told there was a banquet hall. This? This is a travesty! The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. Hmm. There should be... A bit of business! It was Slim Pickens before, but now I have some prey to circle. He should have a dude that I can get money from, though. At least I think so. Most of them have one. Not out here. I need to remember to grind more. It is by far the fastest way to move around. Hmm. I almost have all the power-ups I need to actually do the side room that I haven't actually shown you yet. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? Do it! Uh, next, we are gonna go- now that I have the full power, we are gonna go to the flying machine. Oh, yes I am. But wait! Oh, we actually went. I thought that something was gonna happen there. Hmm. Well, whatever. So, needless to say, the floating tower is particularly useful to have in the flying machine. It makes it a lot easier to manage those holes. This one is really easy to do, just like that. I may regret doing this, but I want more treasure after losing it all as Donovan. Is there a thing up here? No. Like, of all levels, it's the freaking flying machine I've decided to smash it on. I can... This is gonna go so wrong for me. <laughs> That is my prediction. Oh, I could have gotten that with floating power. Oh well. That's a bomb!
Oh hey. Yeah, okay, that was great. You know what? Seems like a good time for that. <laughs> Reload to the worst enemy in the game. The other worst enemy. Oh, well, I, I just died. Hmm. It's okay. I can actually recover my treasure this time. Uh, right. Prelude to the one of the worst enemies in the game. The other worst enemy in addition to the fish. These guys themselves are fine. The blue cloaked ones, that is. But there's an alternate color scheme that is just the bane of my existence. I could have made that jump the first time, I think. This is really cool. Oh, no, I almost screwed up there. I didn't die, so it's fine. So apparently platforms don't load until they're on the screen, and you can do, in these auto-scrolling sections, you can do some really interesting sequence breakings in them. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, though. First of all, I don't know if I can do it in this particular sequence. Second of all, I've never done it before, so I don't think I can pull it off. Um... And third of all, I think it's more interesting if I do it the real way, at least- or the intended way, at least this time around. I need to go faster though, because I need that stall. Um, I have no idea how often I die on my first playthrough. Um... It, it was a fair amount, but I also know that the number was a lot lower than it would have been just because I used the easy mode armor. Or do you mean you died 23 times just on Flying Machine? Because honestly, I would believe it. Flying Machine is brutal as any character. Like, I've heard it said that Spectre Knight it, stage with sho Shovel Knight is intended to be the sort of the, the test for new players, whereas, um, whereas what's it called, um, whereas Kingman's Sage is pretty easy, Spectre Knight's Sage is a lot harder for other people, and Spectre Knight himself the boss as well, I suppose. But, uh, I know for me, the other big hard area has always definitely been this freaking stage. Freaking- oh, and I just hit spikes. Freaking flying machine. <laughs> Although, I do think- I do think flying machine is a little bit better with basically anyone but Shovel Knight. But, man, with Shovel Knight, it is just the freaking worst. Okay, let's try doing that, this, again, except where I don't die by hitting spikes. There we are. That wasn't so bad, now was it? <laughs> But yeah, I know the other stage a lot of people had trouble with was, um, at least with Shovel Knight proper. Maybe less so with, um, 
Spectre Knight is the, uh, the ice stage. Um, the Lost Ship, I think? But honestly, that one was never that much of a trouble for me. Like, by the time you get to that, I feel like you should probably have a good grasp of how to not land on spikes. Even in the worst case, you can just deliberately tank damage from him. And then you're not on spikes hitting spikes anymore. But no, Propeller Knight. Just fucking Propeller Knight. Although, I will say, um... The stage notwithstanding, I think Propeller Knight, the boss, is not that bad. Especially as Spectre Knight. Propeller Knight is probably the easiest boss in the whole game to just jump on his head as Spectre Knight for the whole battle. But, uh, we'll see that when we get to him. Oh, believe me, we will see. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Nope, the hardest boss of the Sh Spectre Knight is probably what is the easiest boss for the other player. Well, the easiest boss is other than King Knight, anyway. Ooh, such tattered robes! Are you here to join the galley crew, then? Magnifique! I'm doing, I'm doing, I should be doing, like, a bad French accent for this. Uh, it's like, oh, ho, ho. like that, right? Uh, on the contrary, you shall join us. An alliance of elite knights will surely complement your carefree crew. As the captain of the Enchantress's flagship, the skies will belong to your rivals no more. Rivals? Me? Never! I'll cast you overboard! Hope that your blade is better honed than your sense of style. I need... Okay, what I need to do is practice my bad French accent. And God! Like, this is a little bit harder to do with Shovel Knight, but I can usually mostly do this with Shovel Knight as well, if I'm being honest. But with this guy in particular, like, the first time I played against this guy, I actually got the achievement for not being hit against a boss. Oh, well, I got hit there, but I'm not perfect. What? Oh, and I died. You know what? Like I said, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I may think he's the easiest boss, but that doesn't mean stop me from making stupid mistakes. Clearly. Uh oh, okay, there it is. I just wanna I'm gonna just wanna sort of ignore you for a while so I can get my treasure back. Okay, got it. Now, let, let the ass kicking resume. Yeah, if he just flies up, he can just bounce on his head, and he can't even do anything about it. <laughs> 